Right, so today I'm going to show you how to make Chinese chili beef, okay? So it's a Chinese inspired recipe. We have cooked this in school. I'm going to prepare the vegetables first and then we'll move on to the meat in the sauce, okay? So first one I'm going to prepare is a pepper. I've got a red bell pepper, it doesn't matter really what colour, whichever one you can get hold of or you prefer. I'm cooking for four of us, so I'm going to use half of this. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is just cut it straight in half and put the other half to one side. Now inside you have got the seeds and the stalk, the stem here, and we don't want those. So what I do carefully is just cut round and that should then lift out. Okay, that bit as well. These are just some of the little membranes that hold the seeds in place take those out right so when I teach you to cut in school I always say flat side down on the chopping board the exception I make is with pepper because I find the skin really waxy and the knife blade slips quite easily so I always do it this way around so almost inside out and I want to cut it into strips remembering please to use cutting methods that I've taught you so this one is claw Okay, then I'm going to gather these together and I'm just going to make them just slightly smaller just like so and then those I'm going to put to one side in a clean bowl ready for when I need them okay okay next is broccoli okay I've got a fresh one if you've got frozen broccoli florets in your freezer if that will work just make sure they're defrosted before you cook them right so we're going to use about half of this and what I'm going to do is cut each individual piece. These are called florets off and then I'm going to make them slightly smaller. OK, so just cut down through and you'll see they really easily just fall away. Oops, I've lost that one. And that should do it. Yeah. OK, so. I'm not going to be boiling these, I'm literally going to be stir frying them, so I want them to be a bit smaller so that they do actually cook. Okay, so these smaller ones, literally, bridge method, I would say that size is about right, put that in the bowl. That one's a little small, but I'm going to cut it anyway. These ones are a little bigger, so you may find once you've got that in half, you might want to turn it over and just cut it again. Okay, so that's how you prepare the broccoli. Okay, so next is spring onion. Okay, I'm not using a huge amount of this. What I need to do first is cut off this part here, which is the roots, and then I'm gonna cut up here where we've got some of the leaves. Then I'll peel this outer part off. Okay, so this outer part should just peel off quite easily. It grows in layers. Right, so this whiter part of the spring onion, here, uh, spring onion here has got quite a strong taste compared to this bit here. So you need to try and get this bit down here as thin as you can. So we're just going to do little discs. Using claw grip for this, and you can see I'm moving my hand back gradually as we get closer to my fingers. As you get into the greener part, you can make it a bit thicker. It will be slightly milder in taste. There we go. And then those discs go into the bowl with the rest of the veg. Okay, next is fresh ginger root. It's such a gorgeous smell and a really fragrant flavour, fiery sort of flavour as well that it adds to the dish. I need to take the skin away first. So I'm going to use trick using a spoon just to really easily peel this papery skin away. It's so easy doing it this way. There we go. Right, I'm just gonna tidy that off my board because I don't want that to go into my dish. 
Okay, so I have got one of these really fine graters here. I don't know if you can see how small those holes are, it's really fine. So if you've got one of those, then they work perfectly for grating the ginger. If you don't have one of these, then I would suggest you use the cutting method that I'm gonna show you with the garlic clove, which will be next, okay? But literally, make sure you're using the right side of the grater and you just, oops, about grating yourself. Just grate it away. And if I turn this over, you can see, there you go. You get this really fine, it's like a ginger puree now. Okay, so you do that with the ginger root. And next is garlic. You're going to need two cloves. Remember, this is a bulb. You don't want two of those, trust me. You want these little segments that are in size, which we call the cloves. So, just quick that one away. Okay, so to prepare these, first of all, you need to cut both ends off. Let's put that one to one side. And once you've cut those off, you can see straight away this pink sort of coloured skin will come away really easily. Oh dear. Right, if you've got a bit like that, don't worry. Okay, that can just be cut straight out. Okay, so I've got rid of quite a bit of the clove there, so I'll probably use a little bit extra. Um, so I've got an extra one. I'll probably find a small one for the bolt to use as well. Now, what I'm going to do is slice it as finely as you can. And then we gather it all together in a pile. Get your knife blade going through the middle, fingers on top, and you'll notice my thumb is pointing upwards. Okay, you do not leave your thumb downwards because if I go down, you can see the blade is going very, very close to my thumb there. So keep all fingers and thumb pointing up. Put weight on this part of the knife here and you hold the point of the knife in place while you pivot the blade around to finally dice the garlic. You need to try and make sure this goes as finely diced, as small as you can. Garlic is very strong in flavour. It can be quite hot so if you end up with a large lump of it in your food it will be very overpowering so you just keep going with that until you're happy that it is cut small enough and then it can go into the bowl that i have got just here with my ginger as well okay Okay, so next is preparing the beef, okay? I've got a clean bowl and into there I'm going to put two tablespoons of corn flour. There we go. And just put that to one side with the spoon. Right, so the beef. I'm just using a frying steak. And what I'm going to do is cut it into nice thin strips because you want it to cook as quickly as possible in the wok. So, oops. there we go, there's one. Please do not be tempted to wash the meat. I've heard of so many people washing things like raw chicken and steak, any sort of meat. We don't wash it, okay? The reason is that when you wash meat that's raw, there's potentially food poisoning bacteria on here, which as you're washing it, you're gonna end up with drips flying about in your room and you don't want that, okay? So what you need to do is just cut nice thin strips, I would say about a centimetre wide. This one is quite long, so what I'll do is go back and just chop that one in half. husband saying no so no I'm not going to go back and chop it in half also if you've got a bit of fat on the meat like this bit here don't be tempted to trim that off you don't need to that fat should melt down and put a bit more moisture into the food and it gives more flavor uh, I'm just going to chop that one just a tiny bit right so once you've chopped all of the meat what you do is you go to your bowl with the corn flour in you pop them in and you stir it 
so that the beef gets a nice covering of the corn flour on there and that will crisp it up as it cooks. Okay, so don't forget to prepare all your meat, put it in a bowl and give it a stir into the corn flour. Okay. Okay, so now I've got my veg prepared, I've got my beef prepared, I'm going to prepare the sauce. It's really important with stir frying to make sure you've got everything ready because when you get to the actual cooking it's very quick. So I'm going to need Chinese fire spice, it's one teaspoon, I've got another small bowl ready. Uh, this measuring spoon, that's a half teaspoon, so I'm going to put two in. Soy sauce, I'm going to need four teaspoons. So make sure I've got it on teaspoons, there we are. Ooh, I think I'm just gonna have the right amount. There we go. Okay, now it wouldn't be a beef chilli recipe without some chilli sourcing. So it's sweet chilli sauce. You can get different levels of um, heat to these. This one is a mild, and you can see from the one little chilli pepper on here. Um, if you prefer spicier, then you can get mild and hot versions. Okay, but we've got the mild and it is, uh, I can't see it on my recipe, two teaspoons. Okay, and the last ingredient to go in is orange juice. Now, I've got breakfast juice, not orange juice, but it works just as well. This is a blend, basically, of orange and grapefruit juice. So if that's what you've got, brilliant. If you haven't, normal orange juice, absolutely fine. And for this one, it's our main bulk. I can't get into it. Oh, my word. There we go. It's the main bulk of the sauce, so it is six tablespoons. There we go. I'll right, just put this spoon in the sink. So I'm just going to get a little spoon just to give that sauce a bit of a mix. There we go. So now that we've got everything prepared, it is now down to the cooking. Okay, so now it's time to start the cooking. Okay, we have got a wok. If you don't have a wok, a large frying pan or a saucepan, okay. In the wok, I have got about two and a half tablespoons of oil and it is heating up before I put anything in. It's really important to make sure that this is hot before you start frying. So to check that it's hot enough, I'm just gonna get a little bit of my spring onion and I'll pop it into the oil and if it sizzles, there we go, which it is, we know the oil's nice and hot. Now, I'm not gonna put all of my beef in in one go. If I do, the temperature of the oil will drop too uh, much and I end up stewing the uh, beef rather than frying it. So I'm going to go for a small handful. Don't throw it in, just place it in gently. Just move it about a bit so it's not all sat in one place. There we go. And then just leave it. I've also got ready a clean bowl because once this is cooked, I'm going to put the beef into this bowl to rest while I'm cooking the rest. I'm happy that's been stuck in there for probably a minute and I'm just going to really carefully turn it over so that we put the other side. You can see this is hot, you can see the oil is sticking a lot so make sure this is back and make sure that if you are cooking this at home that you've got an adult around.
Okay, good. I'm going to use a copper spoon to carefully put that food onto my clean plate. And then you can continue with the rest of the beef. Okay. Okay, so the beef is cooked and in a clean bowl. I've put a little bit of salt and pepper on just to season it and a little dash of soy sauce. We'll put that to one side. I've turned the heat down on the wok. It's still gonna be very hot though, so please be careful. First thing I'm gonna put in there is my ginger and garlic. So I want to just fry that a little and then I'm going to turn my heat back up. When you're stir frying it's all about hot heat. And then all my veg that I prepared goes in and we're going to keep it moving round, nice hot heat for a couple of minutes. been stir fried for a couple of minutes so next is going to be bean sprouts so I'm going to put two handfuls in a bit more. these won't need that long to cook which is why they have gone in as the last vegetable move them round let them soften just a little okay then my meat goes straight back in. If you've got some juices where the beef has been resting, get them in. Okay, so the beef is in. We stir it through for about 30 seconds. And then the last thing will be our sauce. I'm going to give it a quick stir. And then in. Stir it through. And that, once we've given it about a minute to get the sauce all the way through, permeating into all that veg, that is our chilli beef done.